All right, what's happening people? Welcome to this episode. Today we are back in Northern Ireland at Quinn M Sport and we are checking out the progress on the GT86. We are probably just over a week away from Essen Motor Show where we're going to show the GT86 for the very first time on the ST Suspensions booth, part of the KW Automotive Group. Super excited to be back at Essen again. Just one car this year at Essen. Last year we took the Navara and the GTR. The year before that, the GTR. And I think the year before that, the GTR as well actually. I know I keep saying GTR, but anyway. Kevin Joe have done an amazing job over the last couple of weeks since we were here last. Yeah, excited to get back into the workshop, see what's been going on, possibly start the engine as well, which is going to be awesome to hear it. Ian's going to finish the titanium exhaust. And what else has Ian got to do? Boost hoses. I'm also here to just make sure there's no last minute parts that need to be ordered, uh, work on some logistics, finish the livery, just make sure that everything's coming to plan for that as well. We've all got, I've also got a plan, some content creation, so that when the car's done, before we go to Essen, we've got some photos to give to partners and some video content to sort of release when we're at Essen. So yeah, busy, busy times at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'll take you straight into the workshop, give you some sexy B-roll of what's been going on with the car. Hope that was okay, here go. Sitting in the car now for the, one of the first times. Now we've got everything in here. It just feels incredible. Like the seating position, the driving position, everything's good. Now that everything's kind of in here and it's home, it just feels, yeah, it just feels real now. It feels incredible. So yeah, looking good. It just looks really neat and tidy in here. I'm getting excited about sitting in the car and you're getting excited about what? Well, that's, this is it, the last piece of, for me to weld. I'm done. I mean, you've only been here two days welding and stuff, so. That is a vibrant titanium HD clamp, four inch tire, fire cut, all back purged, as you can see. So it looks as sexy on the inside as it does on the outside. Let me get out and I'll come and have a look. I've got to try and get out. Ian, you might have to hold the camera. Jesus. I have to practice getting in and out of this thing. Anyway. What you got? Sexy carbon fibre can in there for. Ooh. Is that new? Because I've never had one. We've never had one of them before. Have never we? had one, no. And just for the extra sauce, I've gone for a titanium intake with a carbon fibre air filter. Genuinely, even though we're filming, that is exciting. I just thought it would bring something a bit different to the engine bay. We've never had a titanium intake. We've never had the chance to do one. Fibre not come through a clutch with all the stuff, so. And then a vibrant hooked us up for a very special build. Mm. Oh, yeah, I did all the boost hoses as well. So, all the new vibrant HD pinless clamps, vibrant uh, alley pipe. Onto the forge in the cooler. Oh, I've got I'll put that on old itchy bollocks as well. <laughs> I've been sitting down all day welding. Ian. Stephen. There's one thing we haven't done yet. What haven't we done? We haven't got the funk exhaust. Manifold blanket. Joe knows where they are, he's got them. Hey. Cool. Right, E, run us through what have we done in the last two days? Uh, well, we came back last time you see us, we were doing the exhaust and some of the boost hoses, but we ran out of time. Um, so we come back, finished off the exhaust, got that done yesterday. Joe polished the downpipe and heated it up so it went all funny colours because that's what he wanted to do. He's very excited about doing that. Does look cool. Well, so that's, that's what it looks like polished. Yeah, that's what it looks like raw. So this is just straight um, clean titanium, just welded straight off the torch. No heating, no cleaning, no rusting around. So we've done both of them so it kind of just gives you a contrast. So um, we're going to leave that one raw, right? We're going to leave that, that as it polished. is, yeah. I think that might end up getting wrapped at some point with funk heat wrap just because of how hot it's going to get under it. Um, last time we kind of got a little bit stuck with boost hoses because we needed the adapter for the throttle body. And as you can see, kicked it off the turbo, vibrant HD clamp. Had to weld it to the intercooler, had to make a little modification to the intercooler to weld it in because we didn't have enough room to get another HD clamp in here. So I've done the cold side, made up the hot side again with three inch vibrant pinless HD clamps. Done the intake 
and finished up all the alley stuff. We've got another, we managed to get another clamp in this side now. Yeah, yeah, we've got two clamps on the on the hot side, so this side's easy to get in and out. It's just the cold side's a little bit more awkward, but we shouldn't really need to take it apart too often. Once it's together, it should be together, unless we have a big crash, which hopefully <laughs> won't happen. <laughs> But that's it, that's all the specialist welding that we needed to come over and do. Joe, Joe, since we were here last, yeah. you guys have completed the wiring, right? Wiring is done. PDM fitted and all, so hopefully next week we'll be Dino. making some. Making some noise. Yeah. And the wiring looks incredible. Bob yeah. at Motorsport 56 has been in for what, eight days? Yep. Eight days, like literally flat out, getting the whole car from the headlights to the tail lights wired up. All the wiring inside the car looks incredible. You can probably just about see if I get the GoPro in here, the PDM and the ECU. And then we've got this touch pad. It looks really cool. Is that touch pad from Motec as well, yeah? Yep. Great health touch pad. That looks savage. Lots of nice buttons. Everything's literally on the button, ready to go. A couple of days, I guess. A couple of days left and then making some noise, hopefully. We've also got wheels from BBS. These are the LMs. We've got some rears as well, but we're just waiting for some new lips and barrels. And then we're gonna get them all fitted up together, all four of them, and then get them to powder coat and try and get them on the car in time for SN Motor Show. The other thing I think that's been fitted since we were here last was the brakes, Joe. The wheelwood brakes are on. They are way bigger than the brakes that we've got on the GTR and the PS. I don't really understand how we've ended up with bigger brakes on the rear. Did you order these? Was it me, was it? So when we had a chat with the guys at Willwood at SEMA, which you'll see in the SEMA video, they basically gave us exactly the same setup as what Ken Gushi ran on his car. So that's why we've ended up with the four pots on the rear and the sixes on the front. And the fronts look awesome as well. Look at them. Now I'll be back in just over a week's time to pick the car up take it to Ash at Fleet Livery, Fleet Livery Solutions, get the livery on the car, and then the big push onto SMO Show. All right, what's happening everybody? So we are back in Northern Ireland at Kevin Quinn's workshop, and uh, this day has been long awaited, but I, and I am looking at literally the nicest drift car I think I've ever seen. And I'd love to introduce to you my brand new Toyota GT86. I have no words. Yeah. I it just looks amazing, doesn't it? Is it I really, it's at the point now where you could just like, you really don't want to put it on the start line at the first round yeah. of any competitions, really. You leave the start line, that's it. Yeah, no. It's not new anymore. No. I can't wait to see a sticker. Be cool. I don't really want a sticker. I don't really want to wrap it now. So we're going to get the car loaded up now. We've got an overnight ferry from Belfast back to Liverpool tonight. And then in the morning, uh, we're going to drive straight over to Fleet Livery Solutions. They've got a brand new workshop right next to Snetterton Race Circuit. So I'm super excited to see the new facility um, for Fleet Livery Solutions. And Ash and the team there are going to get busy uh, over the next two, two and a half days, uh, getting the car completely in livery, uh, just in time for us to leave for Essen Motor Show. And hopefully in that small window, um, our BBS wheels will turn up and then we can get the car fully ready, fully loaded and into the show, probably just in time. And then me and you here go, can probably get some sleep. Very nice. That's turning the circle for you. Yeah, I know, it's big enough, isn't it? Oh, forgot to get, we forgot to put petrol in the uh, GTA 6, it doesn't run. You'd be pleased to know, it's very small. It's a very small car. Well, she looks pretty. Yeah, pretty small. I mean, the GTR is wider, longer, but, and barely fits in the trailer. The Navara literally just squeezes in there. And this has, Room, Ample. room of both ends, so 
you could have almost just tucked it up the top. Yeah, yeah nearly, put yeah. The just, put it, just put it on the second level. Yeah. Get you. And the door's closed. That's the most impressive bit, I think. Yeah. The door is actually closed. Better than my, better than my Ranger. <laughs> Sounds like a goal. Where's the, um, I'm not the grand tour, mate. Where, where, what? Let's, let's go on a wonder, let's go on a wonder. Show me the, show me the new, the 2023 new Fleet Livery Solutions. Fleet Livery Solutions 2.0. It's actually 5.0. 5.0? This is a tip and PPF bay. Oh. Currently in for a D-Rap. There's a nice R8 in Tiffany blue. Nice. Did you spec this area yeah. out when you? Yeah, yeah, we needed like absolute, Christmas tree style, bright as can be. Yeah. When you tint in windows and do the PPF, you need to be able to see everything. Nice. It's cool. Is this your storage facility? This is the place of things that have not found a home just yet. Nice. You just took on an empty shell and then put everything in yeah. after that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Laminating room, digitizing room, so template and stuff like that. Nice, it's cool. Yeah. I feel like it's a more open plan. Yeah, yeah, which causes some issues just because of the noise. Okay, so the boys have been cracking on here at FLS and the car is now completely and utterly one color and this is the last time you guys will see it until the next video when we're at when we're at SM Motor Show and the car is going to be in its 2024 livery. But for now, here is our GT86 in black. We all agreed that less what have you seen? <laughs> Kevin's <laughs> <laughs> How am I meant to get this done? I'm gonna miss the boat home. Does that look all right? Here you go. I mean, it's too late if it's not, because I'm just gonna do the intro now, just so you know. Look at the size of his air filter. It's not all about the size of the air filter, is it? It's apparently not always about the size of the air filter. Is it what you can do with the air? It's what you can do with the air. <laughs> up and down, up and down, 